now I would like you to uh, to get familiarized with this uh, new feature called Lofted Slab, which is a feature that um, creates a part using two construction arches or, or lines. Uh, in the ribbon, we also have the, the possibility to do uh, lofted plates, which is exactly the same functionality, but on this on the steel side of things. I will just uh, go straight ahead into onto the demo. What I've created here is two construction cons construction arches in the space where, where this ramp uh, should be located. These uh, arches don't do not need to be parallel to each other, so they can they can have a, a different uh, radiuses and uh, and distances between them at different points. What I go ahead and do is I I launch the lofted slab. I'm checking some of the different properties that I can already uh, predefine, similar to a slab. And then I go and select the first construction arch and the second one. And when I click the second one, it creates the, the slab uh, using those two construction points. After that, I don't need the construction points anymore, but I will go to directly manipulate the radiuses of the of the part itself as well as the handles. So, so you don't need to to stay with the original geometry that you used to create the slab. In the, in this example, I used the uh, arches, but it, it can, you can, as I said, you can also use um, straight lines. And this is just an example of, of, of how this type of, of, of roof structure can be now more easily available for users to create. So as you see, we we're, we're, we have en uh, embarked on this path of, of, of creating co more complex geometry in order to make your your experience of, of the constructible model more more real. And um, you know, please stay tuned uh, for, for future versions where where I'm I'm sure we'll get uh, even even further surprises for you in this department.